welcome to Real Times. My name is Carrie Obazinski with Times Microwave Systems, an Amphenol company. And this is our vlog where we talk about industry trends, new products, meet some of the people, and pretty much talk about everything coax. Today I have with me David Kiesling, our Director of Global Sales. Welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> Good. I appreciate you being here. And today we're going to talk a little bit about some of our products that are kind of all around us, I like to say, right? Oh, that's a good way of saying right? it. Right? So um, one of our lines is space assemblies. We make a lot of products that go into outer space, and we've been doing this for a very, very long time. But more recently, um, we're tapping into some of the other space markets. And um, do you want to talk about sort of what those markets are first, and then we'll talk about what the products are? Sure, that's a good okay. idea. Yeah, so we have been in the space world for a long time. Yeah things that go off to Jupiter and so forth. And, right. But if you look at the space market, you know, say 20 years ago and so forth, it was all about geostationary satellites. So you would spend a lot of time putting together these satellites, put them out a long way away from Earth where they would be transmitting data and so forth. And it was kind of the traditional way of doing it. And it was very slow and methodical because if you're gonna spend all that time and money to put something out there, the reliability and the challenges and so forth that you needed and the rigor on the design was very, very heavy. Mm -hmm. um, what we're seeing now with things like SpaceX and so forth is a, a new attitude or a new approach to space where they're not so far out in geostationary orbit. They're in the LEO position, which is closer, low Earth orbit. Okay. And because you're low Earth, they actually zing around the Earth. So sometimes if you look up at night, you actually see them and so forth. But mm. you need a lot of them. Uh, and so they're now looking at it from a different perspective, saying, how do we get thousands of satellites up there? You're going to need some, one following the next, following the next, okay. to make sure you get consistent coverage. So a very different de design approach. And because of that, they're approaching design in different ways because they aren't intended for 30-year use. They know that they are going to probably come out of orbit in about five years. So your approach is slightly different on design versus a multi-multi-billion dollar satellite that has to go up and have a 30, 40 year operational life. And so um, with that, you know, you look at how you design it, how you approach it in slightly different ways. And so what have we come up with as far as a solution for that LEO market? So it, with LEO, not only do they design it differently, but you have different customers. Mm. So you have new entrants into it. Again, I think SpaceX, everybody knows. Right. Um, but there are a lot more companies than SpaceX. So there's a lot of investment going on, a lot of design. And so engineers need stuff to play with. It's a lot of startups is how Ex I look at that's it. That's exactly okay. it. And so they are testing out things and they need to build breadboards and so forth. And they have to do it fairly quickly. So mm -hmm. what we've done is we've taken our Space Heritage products, we've adapted them to this kind of, let's call it the LEO world, and built standard assemblies. So if you want to go try out your new oscillator design, for example, and you want to go test it, you don't want to get into waiting for the perfect cable for however many months it would take. You want to go do it today. Mm -hmm. And so we've put space applicable cables available in distribution. These are cable assemblies. Assemblies, exactly, that in standard length, so you can go test those types of things. So, but they still have all the properties. They're built out of the cables that you would use. Mm -hmm. They have the connectors, all the heritage and so forth that we've done, but we've made them readily available so you can go try them. And after you try them, if it's not exactly what you need or want, we can help you design specifically what you need? Exactly, so okay. that's kind of the trick, right? So you say, hey, maybe I need, let me start with a six inch assembly of this particular style, but you know, just to optimize my system, maybe I need to make it a little longer, a little shorter. We've been working with you already, now you know what to do and we'll tailor it for your exact needs. So Dave, what are the cable assembly types that are available in distribution? So we have three types mm -hmm. and all types are built using all of our space standards. So they're mm -hmm. built in a clean room. They use the materials and so forth for high radiation and so on. And the first one we have is our max gain cable assembly. So you, we've talked about max gain before. Mm -hmm. So it's a very low loss cable assembly. Um, and so you would use this where obviously loss or uh, power consumption is your number one thing. Okay. On top of that, we have an InstaBend mm -hmm. version, 
so this is for tight spaces, high density and so forth. And so for instance, you can bend the cable right at the back of the connector. Uh, still very low loss, but it offers a little bit more flexibility. So you probably have a bit of a trade-off there, but mm -hmm. not a whole bunch. And then on top of that, we have a phase stable version of the InstaBend. So a variation of our phase track family for very phase stable things where you need to potentially build them in sets and so on where phase control is really, really important. And again, I want to just reiterate like all of the legacy that we have, all the things that we've learned, we're applying here and building in a very controlled manner that you would require out of a space type of assembly. Well, thank you for explaining that. I appreciate it. And if you are interested in learning more about the space assemblies and the space products available at Times, please visit our website at timesmicrowave.com and go under the markets. It'll say space. And under on that page, you'll actually see the distributors, partners that actually have inventory and the assemblies available as well as literature and contact information to learn more or answer any questions. Thank you for watching our vlog. If you have any questions, like I said, there's um, you can go to our website. And until next time, stay healthy and well.